Ma'am, I would like to finish my statement. The statement that I made is I have woke somebody up. They then began to participate. As a male, I have also been woke up from a slumber by a female and began to anticipate. So sleep to me is not the caveat of abuse or essay. In my time, I have both participated in such an action and had it also done to me. And it wasn't a problem either way. That is what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is simply this. Sleep is not the end all be all to this particular process. Or at least let me say it to you this way. In my own personal experience, your experience may be different than mine. And I can let you have that. And I'll land there. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, Fab, do you like I, Carolyn? I have, you, you, please. Wait, we're going to go in a row. We're going to go uh, Carolyn, Fab, Blaze, Mommy screen. Money, um, Miss Powers, and then we're going to go Shay. Y'all, uh, oh, we're going to do a short commercial gentle. break. Y'all, yes, please yes. tap the screen, share the live. You gonna do the commercial break, Fab? Uh, okay, we got the uh, boxes. I'm just trying to give love and light, cause we're just loving life. But tap okay. the screen, y'all. Tap the screen. Yeah, we're gonna tap the screen, share the live. We're gonna help out with the gift goal. I have um 32 of my perfumes. I need to complete my gift goal. I appreciate y'all. Could y'all please tap the screen? Tap, tap, tap the screen. We might not agree with what everyone says, but everyone has an opinion here. If you do not agree, then um it is what it is right so uh, we're gonna move to miss carolyn and then fab and then on fourth and then i'm on i'm gonna mute up while everybody else talks and yeah, then i'll I, have I'm drop her quick i just wanted to say oh. hey to my baby shay i haven't seen sh okay thank you friends for that um so Sorry, I, call, but shay, I just want to say hey bye y'all Bye, Bray. What's up, King? Good to see you, brother. Oh, Shay in the building. I wouldn't even look at my phone. Okay, I'm going on mute. Okay, so, uh, Blaze, I, I do understand your position. And I'm, I'm not going to uh, agree or disagree. That wasn't me. That was uh, Ir Irwin. That, uh, oh, Irwin. Ed oh, Edwin, I, I do apologize, Blaze. So, Ed Edwin, to what you said, um, I, too, in the past have... Uh, participated both ways okay been waking up out of my sleep and have woken up my my husband um however just because we think it's okay because um there wasn't a negative outcome the law says differently okay hold on uh miss carolyn i don't mean to interrupt you i need everybody to tap the screen please i should be up to 10k by now i understand everybody wants to be a part of the camp conversation but can we please tap the screen? Hey, everybody, welcome in, welcome in. Could we please get me up to 20K before, you know, let's let's just tap y'all while we talk. And, um, but the law does state differently in those type of scenarios, uh, especially if someone's sleep and intoxicated or inebriated, uh, they're not in a position to give consent, okay? Especially if it's not even a partner that you live with and you consider your mate, you know, uh, those situations are, typically considered to be okay but when you're talking about a new situation where you're just meeting someone you're in the beginning stages of hooking up you don't really know that person uh th that's a different scenario than you're talking about a, a wife or a spouse or a partner that you've been with and and they're okay and comfortable with you i had to learn in my adulthood that a trigger of mine was being waking up out of my sleep because I am an essay survivor of, from the tender age of five to, to 10 years old. And because I was drugged out of my bed as a child and tortured in, my, in the night in my own house, I realized that's a trigger for me. So I don't ever want to be woken up in my sleep. I realized that, but I didn't realize it until late in my adulthood. So I land there. Hey, All right. Uh, trigger warning. Trigger warning. This is for educational purposes only. I'm going to mute up. Go ahead, Fab. I was just, I'm going to make it short and move on. I agree. I was going to say something very similar to Ms. Carolyn. I think I, you know, Edwin's, Edwin's um, example or scenario um, makes sense when you are with the person and you kind of establish that routine. I mean, me and my husband play a very similar game, however. 
he's my husband and we've established that in the beginning when we were dating but again like she's saying it's a brand new situation him just meeting this woman not knowing anything you need to be really clear of consent and i understand when people say oh my age i'm 50 something i'm 60 something years old that's not an excuse because th that just kind of feeds into a lot of the misogyny because i'm 50 or 60 that's how we did it right that's a really bad excuse today's world and you're just coming meeting this woman she's younger she's half your age in this situation there should have been very explicit consent moving forward if he's going to play this game right he's not a young chicken and it seems like this is something he does and he and, and also your your behavior and the things you're in this situation does matter right and so i think in this case he is not absolved he you know in this case to me has some very questionable behavior and when he's when he said oh i'm sorry i did this i did that i blah 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 blah, blah. i mean it's it's all good until it's not and i think it, it this situation backfired on him and it probably didn't go the way she wanted to either so i think every situation is a little different but i still think the person who fell into it who, who uh fell fell into the situation and did things he wasn't supposed to do needs to be held accountable just the same so that's my 2.2 as miss nisha would say this is good to me blaze i am here um i really don't have too much to add on they said enough but for a man to say that um uh, like you said when we come we're talking about a certain situation now you don't know this woman now if she wakes up and says i never gave you consent to do that by law that is sexual assault end of story I think well, I think what she pretty, go ahead. It's I'm pretty cut and dry. Pretty cut and dry for me. I agree with everything Fab said. Um, as far as you know, the sleeping thing we all know the law says that cannot be done. I don't care how you looked at it, how old you are, how much you thought it was right back then. It ain't right today. All I can do is teach my children what's right. If they step out there in that water and get in this position, if it was my son, I would be standing in his face right now saying, son, why did you even leave and go to attend this scenario? Why were you even involved? To even attempt to get a charge, to get a anything. Why didn't you think about this before you did? Oh, I did, mama. Well, you evidently know the consequences and you're going to sit in them. If you're guilty, I can't tell you Can nothing I? else. And even if you're not guilty and you get found guilty, you put yourself in that position because you fell for whatever it was. At some point, you should have woke up, realized that something wasn't right, and you should have made a detour. When you made that detour, that could have saved you from being in the position you were in right now. So I'm telling you what I would tell my own son because i can't respect it even if it's my child and he made a mistake yeah it may have been a mistake or maybe you didn't know or maybe it went farther than you thought however it happened that's it in the discussion now the repercussion maybe you just gonna have to wear mama support you through it and once you get out get you some training so you can get your life together but other than that i mean i'm human i'm not god Okay, can I ask you ladies a question? This is a question for the ladies. I understand what you're saying, mommy, but I, I, I have to ask this question as a man. Hopefully other men in here are thinking like this. Maybe some are, maybe they're not. But the question is simply this. If this is the stumbling block, like, you know, it's black and white. You're either on this side or this side. Like when you run into a scenario, I have two 21 year olds. Most of you guys know the reason I'm on this app is to figure out how to navigate their ass through this life. They are dating right now. 
I do not want them to be labeled in this manner because they have decided to be heterosexual young men, right? I've tried to teach them not to bring babies home until you're married. But at the same time, I'm protecting them by giving them the necessary tools to keep them safe because there are other things out here much more pervasive than being accused of something. Their life is on the line and they can end their life the moment that they penetrate a woman. And that can happen to my two sons. So my question is simply this. I know that no means no. And I understand you guys are saying that sleep and this, that, and the other and falling out and waking up and having what we call conscious relationship, which is what I think everybody is, is trying to hang their hat on, that this was kind of an unconscious. One was conscious, the other one wasn't conscious and because of it. But then when I go back and pull down the record of math of the occurrence that happened, like the ABCs, when you get to the room, how did you get to the room? What happened to get an additional room? What happened to knowing that you had a single room with a single bed in it? That my question is, right? During this process before the inebriation and the unconsciousness and all of this, right? as we say, is there an area of responsibility that my son should make sure is known somehow? Does he record it? Hey, look, we're gonna stay here in this room together. We got a single bed. They didn't have a double. Is it okay? So that he has some type of record evidence of his non-attempt to be derelict to this person. Because in this particular case, this person in my mind had an agenda, as they said, and based on that agenda, perhaps this man got ensnarled in it and shouldn't have. What I don't want to happen is for my sons to experience the same fate. So I'm asking you women, what do I tell my sons? First of all, I'm going to say this. You have to ask, just like 007 said um, down in the comments, you have to listen and ask questions before you even meet you have to have questions before you even take that next step okay and even if that even if the females you know is an agreement of it once she realized maybe she changed her mind that's her right to change her mind that doesn't give anybody the right to um think that oh well you said this before oh well this is going to happen no no means no you have to ask questions May I say something that's what it comes quick. down to can and we do you feel as though i don't care if it's where? one room and if it's one only one time. bed you are an adult she gets the bed you get on the floor or there's a couch so separate that still doesn't give you the right just because y'all talked about it you can't wake okay. somebody up out of their sleep and just do that. She has to have consent. You have to have consent. I, um, I need somebody to do a commercial break and I'm going to mute up. I need somebody to do a commercial break so Bray can know what the conversation is. And hello, everybody in the room. Okay. Hey, can I do the first part of commercial break? Pretty please with sugar on top. I've never done a commercial okay, break. Go I think for, for friends. Go for it, Edward. Go <laughs> Look, y'all. Uh, as the chief moderator on TikTok, it is a plum pleasing pleasure to be in friend's house. Y'all know what to do because I see you. I'm in these streets like y'all. There's a gift goal of perfume. She's got 46. Her goal is to get to 100. What I'd like for you guys to do is as the lie progresses to continue to eclipse her goal. She will reset them. It's not a grab. It is just a way for people to help donate. It does two things. It lets TikTok know that you're enjoying the conversation because TikTok is a machine. It's looking for clicks, likes, comments, and everything else so that it'll continue to push her out. Another thing too, likes are very important for one reason. It propels her to the For You page. The world's a big place. London, Germany, Africa, everybody having the same issues we got interpersonally wise. So this will get her out and other people can come in and get this great content that she has. So if you have not participated in the campus in this classroom, support is a verb. Do something, tap, 
gift, become a member, help her reach her live goals. Uh, I don't see her cash up, but I'm sure good green money is good for everybody. Um, she does a good job on here. So if you guys would support her in any way, I would appreciate it. Thank you. All right. We also have a, a shake. You got it, Shay. Hold on. Um, I'm going to let Shay finish out the um, the um, the commercial break. And then someone also needs to take. OK, you want Fab to do it? OK. Um, then we need to explain the braid, what the conversation is so we can continue on, everyone. Um, thank you, uh, Edwin. I appreciate you. Yeah, that was pretty good, Edwin. All right. So um, what we're talking about, a couple things, you know, um, having an adult conversation about things that are happening on this app, right? So we were talking about, hey, we we know of two creators that were saying things under, they were inebriated or under the influence. And so, you know, we're saying, hey, do we take what they're saying as gold or do we um, give them a benefit of the doubt? You know, in this situation, we were talking about Slim and HB and we we're talking about that consent. That's that that consent thing, the setup thing versus personal accountability. So that's kind of what we're what we're talking about. And so just to answer what um, Edwin was saying. I think that when we make all these kind of weird, not, I'm not going to say weird because that, that's kind of, when we keep coming up with all these different scenarios, I think we tend to then start to remove their per the personal accountability for doing something that you didn't have consent to do. I have a son and I would say, son, you need to have self-control. If it don't fit, you must have quit. If you in a hotel room, pull out the mat, pull out the situation. If you can't lay next to a woman and keep your hands to yourself, then don't go or sit, lay your ass on the floor. But if she is not, and, and we adults here, you can say, hey, we doing this. What's going on? Are we rocking and rolling? Like we, It's not like we just start our hands moving, our mouths don't open, right? Hey, what's going on, shorty? Are we doing this or not? And she said, well, no, I don't feel like it. No problem. We could talk all night or play cards. I'm going to go over here on this air mattress or this pull out sofa if you don't feel comfortable. And I'll see you in the morning, love. That's how that goes. And if your sons can't be adult to have a conversation, then they don't need to be engaging in sex at all. Because then it comes after the ex conversation comes protection. Or you, you got a rubber, you on the pill. We need to have conversations. We can't assume and close our eyes and start fumbling in the dark and go, I don't know what happened, right? And so we need to listen. We need to have personal accountability. And that's all I go with, accountability. So regardless if, if like I said, if the trap is set and you fall in the trap and your ass gets snared, by the by the bear trap that's on your ass with the bear trap now there it now there is going to be some accountability for for that trap set or whatever that is on that side that they're going to have to personally deal with but i think the person who crosses the line who did the thing that was they shouldn't have done holds the responsibility and to piggyback off of what you said fab um i think that if we spent more time getting to know each other on our feet instead of on our backs, we could avoid a lot of these situations. That wasn't a vetting situation. I don't care which way we say it, how we toss it, we flip it, we I don't care if you meet the man it, one it night and go, hey, right. that wasn't let's, even a vetting let's, situation. Meet, let's meet in the in the bathroom stall. You in the bathroom stall with the door closed, you like, you ready? We gonna do this? Yes, yes, okay, then let's go. I don't, I don't <laughs> Right. So it went what the heat about, tell. We gotta be adults about adult behavior. You know? Right. So at the it end would, of the day, it wasn't a vetting situation. And my thing is we want to stay far away from the victim blaming portion of this, right? If the shoe was on the other foot and she did it to him, like she performed oral on him and he was sleeping, it still would have been SA regardless. It doesn't change, period. I have exactly. three foods. I have three sons, 29, 26, and 25. And I'm going to tell you what, right now, I don't have to have that conversation with them because my children know who their mother is. And my sons also know what accountability is. They also know what responsibility is. And they also know that this jail cell is waiting for them. I don't have to have that conversation with my sons. 
They don't want to go to prison. They have a single black woman who raised them and they don't want no man to do it to me. So they damn well know that they ain't going to go out there and do it to no other woman. I don't understand. I don't have these conversations. I raised my children to be men and to be men. They already knew what things they had. They have and they can and they cannot do. My sons don't go to hotels with women. They don't. Two of my sons are married. One is not married. They don't go to hotel with women. I've always told my kids I don't lay in a hotel because I was never a hotel child. My mama told me to bring my ass home. If I gave up my ass, I gave up my ass because I wanted to. I didn't put myself in positions. But Edwin, you know I love you, but I'm just going to tell you this. You're the person that will say because she was dressed like that, that's what happened to her. Making me feel that way. Let me take that back because I don't want to say that because you know I love you to life. But that's the way I took what you said was I felt like if I had on a little short dress, it was okay for me to get that. But my kids don't even dress. My kids won't go with a woman that can't come home and be with their mother and meet their mother. They won't do they don't do that. They don't do that. My sons are not. Now, I got up here high, but I was on medication. I didn't get up here drunk. I don't drink. But I would never get up here. I agree 100 percent. Slim already had everything premeditated. And I do believe that HD, HB and Chicago, black Chicago also had their own thing. Chicago, a woman knows when they want to get their tail up. We know that. We know when we want to give our tail up. We know. You know when you 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 feel it. We feel it. And I feel like, like she said, when she was in her stupor, I feel like she doesn't like men. And I feel like she set men up. I feel like it, but I don't agree with it. Not at all. I don't agree with it. And I don't agree with what happened to her. And when we set shit up, shit happens. I don't care if you go out there to rob somebody, you possibly can get pew pew, right? It's the result of. So that's the way I feel, but I don't think victim blaming is good. I, I just don't. That's me personally. I am a, a DV survivor. I just don't believe it. I was an SA, but you might as, well, might as well say if a man beat me to take it, he, he essayed me, right? It is what it is. But I, I don't agree with it. No, I, okay. I, I agree with so did my, it. Uh, wait a minute, Edwin. Okay. Did we all give um, breaking the brisk of what we're having a conversation hey shay can i hear what from mommy asked a question, we go to break? um about what should he tell his son i just had a quick uh message that you could give him um so what i tell mine is don't touch nobody uh, un un unless they say yes and they gotta say it so that means that they're sleep unconscious not in their right state of mind uh drinking too heavily then you need to ask again and if you get started and they say oh no i changed my mind this is not what i want to do stop immediately put your clothes on get your ass up get home don't do nothing else but do what i just said get your ass up put your clothes on and get home call me on the way so that's it okay uh breaking did you get what the conversation is about okay maybe you're not there all righty did everyone else have a chance to speak not really no i want to say this the okay. fact it's just the fact that when you speak like that i feel like you're trying to blur the lines of what sexual assault is when it's pretty cut and dry and that's dangerous to me and no man would sit there and try to say that well we got a room together so she knew it was up no that, it doesn't go it doesn't go like that at all if there's no consent at all which she can't give while she sleep and then she woke up and said i never gave you consent it's the end of the story especially when he admitted to what he did so i don't know okay. it's pretty cut and dry and what you telling your sons is kind of dangerous too y'all specifically okay. talking me, about uh, that situation so no i'm going to explain it to you since it hasn't been properly explained everybody mute up please okay so the conversation is right how much of the drunken stupors are we going to continue to understand when people get on this app and say one they want to underlive people but oh i'm sorry i was drunk or um i set someone up but oh i apologize uh i was i was drunk 
uh, for I, I shouldn't have said that. How many times do we, you know what I'm saying, let these people get on this app and use I apologize for when they get on here and spew the drunken words that they do, even though it is affecting other people. This is affecting other people. Telling someone that you're going to unalive them is affecting somebody. Telling someone that you might have set them up is affecting people. Not only the people on TikTok, but the people in their families. How long do, and there's nothing we can truly do about it, but do we continue to support the rhetoric that comes out of people's mouths when they are in the, the drunken mind? I am not necessarily talking about the S.A., I am talking about does a drunken mind speak the truth? It's been said numerous of times on this app within the last couple of weeks, but do we continue to accept what those drunken truths are? Now, Edwin has said what he has said, you know, and, and it's got everybody up in odds, you know what I'm saying? Um, I am going to say this. One, I am an essay survivor. When things happen to people, I don't think coming on social media for me is what I would have done. That's just me. Okay. Um, there are some things that I would like to keep personal and handle on my own and bring to justice. I am also a DV survivor. I have lost vision due to the father of my two oldest children knocking my head up in between the washer and dryer. Okay. So when I see people get on this app, and they do the things that they do, it's affecting me because I wouldn't have thought that people would handle things the way they handle them. And it seems to me it's a little premeditated. Do you need that much attention from the people on this app or validation from the people on this app when things have happened to you? that could have happened to others. Do you need that negative attention? Because to get on this app, that man should have been gone. That man have should have got the clank clank. Whatever happened, he's still not in the clank clank. But the people that did that to me, which it was three men, went to jail. Do you understand what I'm saying? So that is my situation, right? So do we always set ourselves up for that? We don't because we don't know what intent these people have. So to me, when people get on the app and do these things that we've seen within the last mm, months, I am appalled and disgusted because it's premeditated to say you're going to do that to somebody in any way. The malicious intent to harm anyone mentally or physically is weird to me and to spew it on the app. And then say, I apologize. It's not. It's not an apology. It is clear intent to get attention. And that's how I feel. Now I'm going to mute up. It's also self-destructive behavior. Um, again, things that I recognize in myself when I was uh, operating in an unhealed uh, space. Uh, you do a lot of self-sabotage, self-destructive uh, behavior um, that's spiraling, like I, I said before. Um, and again, I can't express therapy enough. Uh, when you go through such um, trauma, you know, you're, you're going to keep reliving uh, and, and, um, and uh, developing those patterns of behavior. So I definitely recommend um, some help. The only like, thing I'm saying is like for me, in this situation, it didn't really affect me from a standpoint of some of the triggers. Although I have family members that this did affect because it was kind of a conversation ongoing in my personal life. All I can say is simply this. In this situation for me, I was objective, non-biased, non-opinionated. I didn't have an inference point. I didn't have a dog in the fight. I'm not blaming or condoning anything. My view, based on the math, which is the known information, because there's a whole lot of unknown information. The known information was two people got together oh wait a minute one second Edwin. one second this is the 
the video. Okay, so that's the part where she said she only used them for money or to put their stupid ass. Well, apparently what just happened is she had a live and she kind of talked about the this kind of setup thing saying you know why she did it. and i was just trying to get some of the audio so we could play it so you guys can have a better context um why she did this setup thing right why why she went this route but i whatever that is i still to me does not absolve him in in for me so but absolutely not in his situation he did something he shouldn't have done completely 100 percent no abstination no absolvement what i'm saying though is the actions although he, he can't run away from it i i think that the information about the legality of what is because a lot of folks say okay well this is what it is and this is what it's not what i can say is simply this based on the allegations the process that should have occurred, like friends just said, is some action because this was what we would call in the military actionable intelligence, right? You could make some things happen with this situation. Two people should not be running around here on TikTok, right? In the same situation, so to speak, that they were six months ago if this event occurred, regardless of what our opinions are. And as an objective, non-biased person, I looked at the process and the known information, and I said it didn't equate to what is being alleged only because I don't have enough information. And I'm not pulling from a reservoir of my someone else because I do have information it, uh, about it. That is all I'm saying. So when we, I call it center ourselves based on our personal situation, what did occur to someone or to yourself, you need to what we tell um, judges to do. You need to recuse yourself from the conversation because you're too biased. Not that your opinions don't matter or that what happened or how your feelings aren't merited or warranted but you're too close to have an objective opinion about something that's touchy. So you need to recuse yourself and let other non-biased people have the conversation because we don't have a dog in the fight. So if you have a situation where you cannot look at this objectively in a non-biased situation and look at the information for the information itself and not get a gotcha, one word statement, a clip here and there, because this thing happened in 4K for a long period of time. It's enough information for you to make a judgment, not an opinion. And everyone is making opinions in my view. And I'll end there. Thanks. All right. Well, can so I just break say King, no, no, wait, wait, hold on, wait. wait, wait so one at a time, one at a time. Wait. Breaking, do you have anything that you would like to say? No? Okay. We're gonna Break keep it moving. Order food. So I got okay. a question. Now you said you got enough information to make a judgment, but just a minute ago you said we're well, none of us there, so we can't make a judgment. Okay, um, um, but do, when you done, my, mommy, money, um, I'm gonna let everybody talk, but I do have the videos that I could play, um, okay. and then we'll play them, and I'll um, let everybody talk first. I'm gonna mute up. On your topic, on the question that you asked about the sober, the drunk mind speaks the sober mouth. Um, I totally disagree with that. What I was going to say is alcoholics that I know, uh, people that do a lot of drugs that I know, I don't tend to believe at all whether they high, sober, or not. It don't matter. I still don't believe them. But I'm going to go on mute. So in other words, for me, if I already know that's something that you tend to indulge in a lot, <laughs> I'm probably not going to believe you at any point, whether you sober or not, because a lot of things can be made up. You're going to have to probably prove a lot to me in order for me to go along with it. Show me proof or whatever the case may be before I fall in the trap, because I kind of have a objective um, perception of what might happen. Um, can I just say, for my opinion, my opinion, 
um, because the way that she acted, um, being as though that she was um, intoxicated, I think she feels some type of way about what happened. Like she feels guilty in a way that maybe, um, you know, she put herself in that position. Maybe she could have wanted to change something like in her mind she's probably just playing it in her mind that she set this person up and she feels guilty about what happened point blank period um that's that's all i have to say but i think she she really feels a little bit guilty um and sad it's it's, it's sad to listen and sad to hear um uh, what she's going through and um, hopefully she could get whatever she needs um, as far as like help. Well, I just wanted to go back. I, I believe Edwin stated that um, he doesn't believe that, you know, people who have had the experience are coming from a biased place. Um, I, I, I would have to disagree with that um, because I believe that I have the ability of being unbiased. The fact that I had that experience actually gives me a little more insight um, to view it from another angle. You know, I, I can get in the mindset of, of a, a, a victim, you know, uh, and I, I think other people would agree that they could be unbiased um, and give their, not everyone, but I know for me, I can be unbiased. I'm gonna take in based on the information that I have. Again, we don't know everything because we weren't there, but I can only take what is given and make an assessment based on that. But not experiences. <laughs> I mean, using my experiences, but not being biased. So, can you hear me, friends? Hey, Fab. Um... <laughs> That's kind of hard. Y'all know, yeah, some topics I don't, I ain't never spoke on face ass. But as far as this heartbreaker situation goes and the whole little um, voice recording thing, it's like Heartbreaker has let everybody know what she came to this app to do from day one. From the start to the finish, she's let everybody know. That's why Heartbreaker is not somebody that I will personally play with because again she's very strategic manipulative unfortunately guys if that's it's evil you feel me she be doing her evil shit so she definitely loves to take people down you feel me and shit everybody knew that from day one and she has a million subscribers and a million people from the tiktok streets who fuck with her so i just don't agree with hearing i heard what was said like set him up say that he blah blah like that shit that's crazy and Again, that's why motherfuckers don't believe people because it's shit like that. Precisely. The real motherfuckers. I always try. I don't play about essay. Like, I always start off believing, you feel me? And I don't agree with picking stories apart. But again, I don't agree with being lied to either. Especially not playing about no essay. So, that's my opinion. What's up, Cream? So, I would have to agree with my friend down there you probably need to hear hp live before continuing the discussion this is my heads up what do you mean no, kid, ain't you the one on, that she was talking to on the phone i heard we I, are I, on a public platform hill if kid. i heard right i see you in my life but you don't follow me i don't come in her life i'm sure everybody would you know uh, we appreciate it but we all know hell the kid. story Does a he... lot of us have been on here longer than you my love and we've all we know the story we've heard the story but you were so also friends, the young know. lady friends is that is, is she talking am I about tripping? the live that just happened she's talking about the old yeah she's talking, talking about the live no she's talking about the live that she had now with miss nitra okay. yeah i saw that you know what i'm I saying saw that too. um i did too. I, I i mean i have three devices young lady um no disrespect to anyone but if she can speak on her platform and anyone else's we have the right to speak on ours. I don't have anything against her or anyone else, but we are speaking on the topic. 
Maybe she's trying to say I'm an old news. lady. But wait. What you mean you an old, old lady? lady? I'm not understanding. Okay. So hell kid. Maybe she's saying we need to be updated. Like something else came out with maybe yeah. breaking news. I don't but know, but I don't know if somebody in here, if you're streaming it or watching it, uh, share the updated news. But we're talking about while you're coming in here, no disrespect to you, um, Hell Kit, but you're coming in here, you're telling us what to talk about. I don't do that. I don't do that in anyone's platform. But we're also talking about how does a does a drunken mind speak the truth? We're also talking about Slim and him saying that he's going to unlock i have some people and all this other stuff so it's not just about her so we're not going to come in here and we're not going to center her we're talking about everything hey cookie we're talking about everything when people get on this app and say things like that and they are intoxicated should they be allowed to get a pass should they be allowed to do that should they be allowed to you know say things like that on the app and it's okay I don't think it's okay for people to come on here and say they're going to unalive anybody or they have set anyone up. It's not okay because there are more people at stake than yourself. I, I think is, if anybody else want to come up, I'll, I'll just drop if someone else wants to come up. I don't see anybody else in the queue. Come up because I could have swore I really heard this heartbreak. That was who Heartbreak said it to. No, she was, not it was. she was talking to her. She was trying so, to get her off. You so know, I'm just nosy. I want to ask Hell Kid a question because I'm nosy. It's obvious that can that's I, why I said can she I wants just to say come something up, to I'll, Hell Kid? No, 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 wait, wait a minute. Ever. No, that's not in, Hell in a good way. It, okay, Hell oh. Kid, come on up, hon. I'm going um, to ask. I'll, it's I'll Hell drop. Kid. I'll drop. So I can ask her some questions, friends. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to ask a question. I want to send some praises. I mean, I want to say something to her. Okay, well, um, I'm going to let Bray King go first. Okay, go ahead, Bray. You. You know, she, Hell Kid, come on up, my love. I think that with both you situations, are warning why, us. why Hell Kid comes up, but I think in both situations, you can see, obviously, um, that with a... I'm trying to understand what she's warning us of. Come on, come on in, sweetheart. Hey, um, Confident. Hey, Hell okay. Kid, we had a conversation this morning, love. How you doing? Yeah, that's why I was just giving you a heads up. That's all. I wasn't trying wait, to wait, take hold, over your life. I want to know what you what what are you giving up? me a heads up for, my love. Because HB held a live just a minute ago, and I was mm -hmm. wanting you guys to hear, you know. How um, long you been on this app, Hell Cat? I've been on this app since 2021. Okay, did you miss the saga of what's going on? Because I've never seen you. Um, did you miss yeah. the saga of what was going on? I mean, I, I don't pay attention to everybody, I, I and, and that's really not my place update? to what's do that. Well, wait, let her finish what, what she was telling us. We don't know. No, what I'm it. talking to Shay, so I'm, I'm trying to get some things across. So, yeah, I, I don't know you, Hellcat. Nice to meet you. Sorry you're sick. But tell me what the heads up was about, please. And I'll so meet up and let you talk. was nothing. She was just giving the storyline from the beginning to the end and so it was in response i don't know that's why i was telling you guys to i know the blogs i know there were some bloggers in that subscribe only live that got the the footage and that's why i was trying to redirect the your um your live you know because i heard some things that were um not true i know what they look like when i was in that box but even i you know, wasn't familiar with what for the haters in um, for the haters in Heartbreaker was doing right. So um, she laid out the entire situation, and that's why I wanted to redirect it. I didn't know if you guys were streaming it. I didn't know. No, we weren't. Wanted... Well, what was the situation? What was her and for the haters doing? Okay, so everything that happened between her and Black Chicago was real. He did touch her while she was unconscious, which I knew that much. But there were some other things that, see, her oh, record gave oh, it in her. I know, my voice is horrible because I've been talking, but her record knew that, um, she, um, because of her life, she wasn't recognizing it as essay. 
But some people got into her ear and she heard some things about black Chicago past that infuriated her. So everything that Heartbreaker said was true. He touched her while she was unconscious. But then she went on to add in what her talking to father haters wanted her to do. That's why, that's why I was asking for you guys to see the lie. I didn't know if you saw it or not. Well, what was for the I haters don't... telling her to do? I missed that part. Well, what was that part? Oh my God. Oh Lord. I need somebody to. Right. That's why I wanted to. You need to go get some water and some lemon real quick. Don't strain your voice. Drinking, Try to talk to I've been us. Drinking friends. lemon and water. Yeah, take like a two sip. Days. <laughs> okay, <laughs> help you. Can I ask you a I don't question? Ask you no more were you moderating? I don't know. Were you moderate? You were moderate the other, uh, the last couple of lives that have went down. So that night that the incident happened, I wasn't involved in that setup. I was wet, awake and out of my sleep because there was somebody else not involved in that. So when I was mm -hmm. awakened, I immediately jumped in the box, not understanding what was going on, but I was alerted <laughs> uh, several days later. No, I would say the next day or the day after that, that she was fine. And so I didn't think anything of it, nothing more to come from it until today when all of this happened. And so I just say, I'm not, I'm not in my right state of mind after that VF, after that live, because that was a lot. But I want to say that what black Chicago did was absolutely wrong. But you guys need to hear the rest of it and then have the discussion about what happened after that. Hear the rest what of what, Hell Kid? Well, I, well, I would like to say Hell Kid. Wait a minute, y'all, hold on. Hear the rest of what? So, the reason why HB press charges against Black Chicago didn't have the reason why she pressed charges against Black Chicago. That's what you guys need to understand. That part of it. That's well, it. So Wait a minute. Did you say the reason why she didn't or did? Did. Okay. Um. Uh, who, uh, Fab, uh, I'm gonna let uh, Fab go, then you can go, Bray King. Uh, okay. I just want, hey, okay, I just wanted to understand what you're saying. You're like, hey, you got the timeline. However, her and For the Haters w was counseling her to do, I'm still not getting exactly what she was counseling her to do. For the Haters was telling her to, to file charges or not file charges or. To file. To file. And she and she went ahead and did that or she didn't? Well, I'm, what? She did. Okay. But it's, oh my God, so much. I wish I had a voice. <laughs> it sounds like it's more, but can I'm missing something. I'm telling you. Can I, like, can you I, need I, to see the rest of it. You need to see the rest of it. Somebody will have it shortly. Yes. So we can hear it. That's what so I'm gonna let Bray King go next, Edwin. Then you can go. I don't even have too many questions, just cause cause your voice. So, so just real quick, you 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 heard what Heartbreaker has said. She said it to you. You was on the live. She said. And what was what was the context? What was said? said in front of, she what did said she say? In front of eight hundred people. So, with you being there, what did she say? What did you hear? The explanation. No, I'm saying, what did Heartbreaker say as far as the set him up thing? What was said? She didn't set him up. I'm he touched so, her. No, not he that touched part. Her. I'm, not talk, I'm not talking about that. I'm not, I, I, we're not taking that part away. Yes, we definitely agree with that. I don't know oh, where you so heard anybody up here say that. The definitely nobody. I didn't hear charges. nobody up here say that he didn't touch her. So I can I ask you a question that might may clarify? Because I do know. Yeah, go ahead. Clear it up for me real bit. quick. Um. So, Hell Kid. 
Um, are you saying that she pressed charges because she found out there was more done than what she originally thought? No. Okay. No. And that's not what I'm up, saying. But, she found. Y'all gotta find the videos. I know they're out there. But okay, okay I understand I'm going that. to explain it. No, I, my question. My question. This is all I'm asking. You was on the live when whatever was said as far as the whole little. Uh, Whatever she says, set, uh, set them up, the blah, blah, blah. You heard it, right? I just wanted to tell for the haters to find the videos. To so, them. no, you can't. So, so that's my only question is, as far as that. How do you feel about that part of Harburg just saying set them up? I'm not saying Black Chicago. I'm just she talking about that say. specifically. Okay, I know. I'm not talking about Black Chicago. I'm talking about even just saying that, even just saying that in general. I don't know what their plot or plan was. But she explained why all of that went down so she could talk about what she talked uh, uh, about. Today. It's okay. You, we, I don't even, you, can, you don't even got to keep explaining. It's cool. To save your voice. You, and you, okay, yeah, you so um, I know that you, and, and what no I'm going to say to y'all is, um, and no disrespect to you, Hellcat, but you have been on here all day. Um, even in Manny's court earlier, I heard you defending um, the situation Trina. earlier, right? Yeah. Trina. So you know that your voice is totally fucked up, right? So I truly I think... I was defending Trina. <laughs> I, I know, but if you don't have a voice to defend yourself, how you going to defend anyone else? That's that's my one no, thing. I just... I didn't, it, I didn't wait, plan on hold on. No, 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 no. But you've been, you, I talked to you earlier. You the same person I talked to earlier. So I know, oh, I got these videos, but I also was around when all this stuff was going on. But I also think if you are sick and you can't speak, I'm not I sick. think, oh, well, you I have uh, laryngitis, oh, uh, your tonsils, uh -huh. whatever's going on yeah. with you, you don't have a voice to speak on the app. Um, Y'all tap the screen. Tap the screen, everybody. Tap the screen. Um, everybody in the box, please have a part in tapping the screen. My live is. I just haven't said anything. Just so please, everyone, go find the videos. No, you no, you ain't felt my energy. Um, what I'm saying to you is, is I think you should. No, I be, felt your energy in Manny's live today. Oh, and I wanted you to go find the video. Oh, I have these videos, like the and videos I want to know from... when she was on this live sending these. Um, the, these videos that I have here. Why? And I heard you say report her page and get her taken down. Why did you feel that w w that way? Because I knew the situation that happened to her, and I didn't want her to talk about the situation. I thought while she was in intoxicated or whatever was going on. Again, I was waking up. I was woken up out of my sleep. So I didn't know what was going on with her and for the haters. But that's why I was saying I don't have. From that point when I was woken up, I jumped up and I saw her live. And I know about the situation that happened. And I didn't I didn't feel like it was a good time for her to talk about it. And that's why I was trying to stop it. Because I know the situation. We talked about it. But I didn't feel it was the right time for her to talk about it. Because I literally thought okay. like she was under, intoxicated until a day or two later when I talked to her again. And she said, hell get her. Well, she called me by my name. I wasn't drunk, and then I left it alone, and I never revisited mm. the conversation. So her being on the psychedelics either, her being on the mushrooms, because I did hear that too, that wasn't a thing either. So this was... I didn't... I said that this must be something no, no, else, no. because HP oh, doesn't yeah. get like that. And okay, but I have the clip like here, and, and she also, she said herself, have you ever done mushrooms? I um, thoroughly listen to a lot of things and I thoroughly listen to a lot of people. Why would she get on here and implicate that she is underneath any kind of influence and speak in that manner? 
I think it was a part of whatever her and for the haters had set up because I've been around HB on and off the app and she doesn't she doesn't do any of that stuff so okay. when I said that that night I was like well what the fuck I've never seen her like that every time she's like that as far as whatever reason she does on this fucking app but she's not like that okay I understand uh, anybody else have questions for Hell Kit? I have one question I don't have a question. I have a statement for Hell Kit. May I bring it yes. to her? Hell okay, let Hell Shay Kit. finish first, Edwin, I, and then you go. Go ahead, Shay. She did say something first. I, I just have the one question. When you were on the live, um, when she was, you know, saying all the things that she was saying, and I know you were yelling and you were saying, Brie called her. I, I heard all of that, right? If I heard you say that you weren't going to step down. You weren't going to get down because if you had got down, she would she wouldn't have got off the live. I didn't understand that part. You remember what I'm talking she about? She wouldn't get off the live. Yeah. So you had dropped when down, was, she wouldn't have got off. Is that what you were saying? That's what I was saying because I was I was woke up out of my sleep. I wasn't in the live. Okay. And somebody called me. In the box. Yeah. Okay. So when okay. they called me, I just jumped into action and was like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on? So you I didn't her hear. down. She was so drunk she didn't want herself down. Basically. Well, that's what it was supposed to look like, I guess. But that's not what it was because when I talked to her, not the next day, but the day after that, I believe, she said, I, how good I wasn't drunk. And I said, oh, okay, well, I don't know what you were saying, but I, I don't think you should be on the lives getting drunk. I didn't see the recording until you guys recording saw the recording. Like she was. I'm just gonna tell you perception. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. I still haven't saw the recording. I just heard people playing it. And I'm like, that's me. You know? I got part one and part two now. Hold on, I'm trying to, let me, let me view it. You definitely have to hear it for yourself because it definitely sounded like she was inebriated. And when you were yelling, because you were yelling apart cross of it to kind of cover what she was saying. Yeah, I was uh, just waking up out of my sleep and they're like, get to the live now. And I'm like, okay, what the hell? Well, so, I, hell kid, I, I would like to... to have a friend like you that would at least try to have my back like that. I, I have to give you, I have to applaud you on that. That's my statement to you, Hellkid. I know your voice is going, but I, I want to say to you, as a moderator, <laughs> sweetheart, boo-boo, you did that. I don't care what nobody say. You, you did what you came to do. You woke up out of your sleep. You came into a space. You knew there were people there. You knew that your live host was there. You were trying to bring some balance. You were like, what the hell is going on? I appreciate your mindset. This is the type of moderation we need here. I mean, we're in different places and spaces, and as you see, stuff will pop off. I appreciate you at least making an attempt, and for that, if that was a award, you should get it. Thank you, LK. Yeah, All right, everybody tap the screen. So that was it. Tap the screen, y'all. Tap so, the screen. Share the live. Hold on, Hellcat, cause um, Hellkit. I'm sorry, I don't want to call you Hellcat. Hold on, Hellkit. Um, y'all tap the screen. Tap the screen. Share the live. Also, rrr, send um the panel their gifts and also help me out with my gift goal, y'all. Um, most definitely tap the screen. I need y'all to tap me up to 30k. I appreciate y'all. Uh, today uh, we have Hell Kid, Mommy Money, Miss Carolyn. Y'all make sure y'all send Shay and Edwin their gifts. Y'all uh, send the send the panel their gifts, y'all, and help me out with my gift goal. I'm trying to get back up to where I was. Y'all know where I was at. Y'all y'all know what I do. Um, so Mommy <laughs> Money is going to play the clips, and I'm going to mute up so we could listen to Hell Kit. I want you to listen, okay? Thank you. No, no, I ain't ready to play it. These are clips from today. Hold on one sec. And I think this might be the whole live, so it may be long. Let me let me see. 
Okay. Can I, uh, uh, friends, can can I do a shout out to Mommy Money while she loading the clips? Sure, sure. Uh, if y'all don't know what a call out is, she, you ain't following Mommy Money. Uh, one of the best blog spaces, open, honest, straightforward, give you the meat potatoes, you got to chew it for yourself, blogger in this campus. So if you're not following her or seeing what she's doing, you may want to. And that is my shout out to the call out corner. Thank you. All right. So, Mommy Money, do you have yesterday's uh, clips or do you want me to play them? No, I don't have yesterday's. Go ahead and play those. I got the one from today. I'm going to play yesterday's clips um, because I really, really, truly, even though you did um, damage control hell kit, um, because that's what it would be. It would be damage control. It would be damage, damage control. Um, she also kept calling you the FBI. Um, after I finished playing the clips, I would love for you to elaborate on that. Um, here we go. I'm going to start these clips because I truly want you to hear. Do you think I give a fuck? I don't. Bullshit. The supporters over here, we set men up. Get, Brie, get, um, call, call Brie on the phone, please. Please. That you because I know you heard him today, but I, I truly want you to hear him from you our point of view. get more and more aggressive with ever somebody trying to talk you down off the ledge. Just tell me what you want to do, and then I'll drop, and I will allow you to do it. Tell me what you want to do. Tell me you'll never want to lose me. And you're saying to me that this is Y'all stop telling me to call her. Bree is calling her now. She's not going to pick up if I drop out the box. I'm not that damn crazy. She's not going to pick up. Men are predators, ladies. Men are predators. Um, we're not started. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that. We're not talking about that, HD. We're not talking about that. That's a moral. We're not talking about that, HB. You're you're too drunk to have that discussion. We're not talking about that. No, we're not talking about that. You think I give a fuck? All right. And I'm trying to help you. I'm really trying to help you, HB. I'm trying to help you. It's hell kid. It's not funny. It's not funny at all. It's not. It's not funny. You have people to talk to. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not. Your fans down here in these comments, these 90 people in here, they can wait. You can come back in a minute, but we need to talk. Yeah. You can come back in a minute, but we need to talk, okay? And I'm trying to help you. I'm really trying to help you, HB. HB. Allow your friends to help you. Bree and Sue are waiting for a call. Allow your friends to help you. No, you don't seem to give a fuck about them. Get on the call. It's nothing funny. It's nothing funny at all. I don't find anything funny. I don't. I promise to God. That's if, because you you're know, not elevator. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Come on. You know I fucks with you, but you need to stop. You really need to stop. Why? I fucks with you. You need to stop. Why aren't you? Why, okay, why aren't you drinking? Because I, I don't need to. I don't want to. You think that you're too good for an I'm trying to beverage? talk your ass Why? down off the fucking ledge before you fucking crash out again. Get the fuck off this live and call your friends now hb you do who's my friend you got two in the comments right now saying get on the phone get on the fucking phone hb you never had a bitch like you like that's the fucking problem 
I am, and I don't give a fuck if you call me the feds or not. I know this is your only page right now that you have open to do this. I'm trying not to report your page or anything like that. So will you please get on the phone, HB? Get on insurance? the phone, HB. Brief caller, please. Call Do you her. want some insurance? Do you want some insurance? I don't want shit. You don't need any either. Get the fuck you off do, line, You do, because you need to stand that. You need to look into the I future. I don't need to do anything, HB, but get you the fuck off live right now. You're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. And it's too much right now. It's too much. You, you, you're st- you still have involvement with men. You guys tell kids not invited to this club. Go. I don't give a fuck where I'm invited to. You think I give a fuck? I don't. Also, the supporters over here, we set men up. Get, so je- Brie, get, yeah. um, call, you're, call you're HB you're on not the phone, uh, please. That you because still I don't think, don't, don't start that it. shit. You get more blank, and more blank. aggressive with it. Ever somebody trying to talk you down off the ledge. Just tell me what you want to do, and then I'll drop, and I will allow you to do it. Tell me what you want to do. Tell me you'll never want to lose me. Y'all, stop telling me to call her. Bree is calling her now. She's not going to pick up if I drop out the box. I'm not that damn crazy. She's not going to pick up. Men are predators, lady. Men are predators. Um, we're not started. We're not talking about that. 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 HB, you're you're too drunk to have that discussion. We're not talking about that. No, we're not talking about that. Why are you saying stuff like that? That is so crazy. Don't tell people to do things like that. Don't tell people to do things like that. That's crazy. That is crazy. That is crazy. I was just thinking it would interrupt her. No, it's not going to interrupt her. Um, I'm in the live box, so somebody else has to call her to interrupt her. I can't interrupt her. Or y'all report the live. Report the live. Because HB is too drunk to be on live. And she's going to say some things she's going to regret. She's too drunk. Look at her. Look at her. I don't know. I think it's something more than just alcohol. I don't know. God damn it. stuck in my fucking hair. You're being a cop again. You better thank God for for Bree and um school. Okay. Um. So. Uh, what? Girl. Everybody's on authentic. Fucking hater. Go catch a fish, then, bro. Before Dad in his chair. Babe, I don't mean it. I love you. Trina, they're mad because this is a miss. This is a woman's only lie. That's how they're mad. I guess. I'm, I'm you know, I'm men over here. 